Hey guys, uh, so I just want to do a little video. I've been thinking around, thinking around. We've been hit by uh, Hurricane Ian, and we currently don't have uh, we don't have internet. And um, I've been thinking around, uh, looking online to buy a um, 4G LTE router and a good one, a good one that does 5G and that does uh, 4G LTE uh, with your bands, the one that you need for your company, which with AT&T or T-Mobile it's really hard to find and it's a lot of money from like 300 to 500 to thousands so what I came up with I thought of idea check this out I thought to myself I have a cell phone like you know this is S20 this is my wife's S20 you know S20 Ultra and it, it can pick up 5G and it can pick up 4G LTE and I thought to myself what if I can use this as a tethering device over uh, over a wire and uh, connect it to something like this to a portable router. So this this is thing is called um, GL MT1300. It's called pocket size travel router. So what I came up with is check this out. I got this <laughs> no screen at all, literally guys, no screen at all, no screen. But I put a SIM card in here. And check this out. I connected it to that little router, right? So what this router does is it uses this uh, SIM card data uh, as a tethering. And it goes in here and then you go and you set it up and check this out. See that? You go online and you can do a lot of, you know, you do tethering. You see that? You see you can do cable in. You can do repeater mode, you can do 3G modem, which is any 3G or USB or tethering. So I'm doing tethering. I did, so I did my wireless setup. There's so much. You can do VPNs, any VPN. You can use Tor. And check this out. I mean, my router, original router right here is now working. This is a monster. This reaches all, you know my house and to my neighbor's house. But it's not working. We've been stuck out of no internet for since the 28th you know and today is like the what today is the 9th so we've been stuck good good two weeks so i got this i got this connected with no uh, with no screen and how i did it with no screen is it's very simple check this out i got this little adapter so from usb-c to hdmi right and i got my xbox controller and so what i did is check this out i'm gonna plug it in plug it in I plug it in like that check this out this little screen turns on right this is a little bit 3.5 baby screen and then I use my controller and I navigate see that and I went with the controller I went to settings and I went to settings and I go all the way down to to developer options click A <laughs> and you gotta go enable you gotta enable the USB debugging where's that baby USB debugging so enable USB debugging okay so you go all the way down to uh, you go tether hardware acceleration yes and then you go to default USB configuration you click on this and you go to USB tethering so see i don't have a screen here the screen is broken but i'm using this thing to convert it to go to dax mode and that's all you have to do you click on it click on it you choose it and default mode and now you disconnect this thing you disconnect it that's all you're done with it you come out of this router here right you plug this in i'm doing this one-handed uh but here you go to internet and it's not plugged in you see Nothing's plugged in, but it. So we're gonna go. I'm gonna go do this. So plugged it in. No internet. You see, it says no internet. Now no internet connected. There you go. It's connected. Tethering connected. And I have internet, guys. This is a simple. I mean, so buying a Wi-Fi router, a 4G LTE router for 500, 300 bucks that has to have your band. This baby right here. I mean, it's S20 broken with no screen. You saw me do it, no screen, you know? 
and it picks up it's unlocked it, it, it can pick up uh, you know T-Mobile Verizon AT&T and you put a SIM card in here connect it to that little thing and that's it I mean I can now and what I'm gonna do it has it has this um, so it can act as a router a repeater it can act as many things so it has a little you know I'm going to connect it not only over Wi-Fi, but I'm going to connect this to a switch. You know, because I got I got my cameras here and I got I had like four different things running and this only has two. So I'm going to connect it to a switch and you can connect up to 34 devices. So I don't have 34 devices, but I have like 10, let's say, you know. I mean, you know, this is I'm so excited because I figured something out. People are buying $400, $500 things and I made a phone that I was going to throw away uh, tethered to a router and have internet for free. I mean, how exciting is that? So hopefully it uh, helped you guys out. Um, you know, what they say, uh, desperate times calls for desperate measures. I mean, this hurricane taught me something. <laughs> I can't be without internet. So I started coming up with things. Uh, hopefully it helps you. Stay tuned. Leave a like. If you don't like, then screw up.